You don't walk out of me when I'm still talking with you. I'm sorry. You know I hate seeing you with me. Whatever the situation, please share with me. Remember a problem share is half solved. Father, you can't understand. I'm your elder brother. Make me understand. I went to the hospital. And 
the doctor said. Yes. HIV and it's real and it doesn't really kill. Yeah, it's real and it do kill. But what else? Nothing. I just wanted to. You're not lying to me. So long. So why do you think you are going to? Come on! Ow! Stop that! Our money! Our I money! I just please. want to die! Please, Lina, don't do this to yourself. You know you are all I have in the whole earth. Please, don't kill yourself. Whatever the case, we will look for the solution together. Please, I will stand by you forever. Please. I said not to live with HIV. Brother, just let me die. Life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Stop crying. You can even live longer than somebody who's strong and healthy today with the virus, okay? You cannot understand. It's okay. Stop crying. Mm. I'll always stand by you. Let us go to the hospital. It's okay. It's okay. Just let me die. 
of someone living with HIV? Mm, the possibility can, is, is either high or low. Uh, doctor, I don't understand. Can you say it in another way? Okay, let's relax. What I mean is, someone infected with HIV and AIDS, if you follow your prescription from the medical doctor, and you eat well, and you respect your rendezvous, you will live longer. But if you neglect yourself, because people say when you are HIV positive, you need to say your goodbyes, then you will die. It's a lie. So you see, HIV and AIDS is, is like any other disease. So like, you don't really need to be scared because disease like malaria kills nowadays even more. And even uh, there's another one that have come just now, the coronavirus. I think uh, you were you, you are coming the other day. Yes. So that one is really, really doing bad. It's killing a lot, more than HIV. So HIV and AIDS is just a state of mind. So, somebody infected, you guys should relax. I will not ask who is infected here or who is infected. So the advice I will give is the infected person, you have to respect there are drugs being given by a medical practitioner. You take your drugs regularly and you eat well and you respect your own levels, you will live longer. Okay, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Why are you okay, my I guess I told you I was very busy in the, in the world, so I, if there's no other question, I'll just make it to be the prescription just to keep healthy. Where you put the camera on and sit. So, so, in case of uh, any other questions, you can pass them in the evening or you can call me. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Uh, Written all over you. 
Remember we are brothers. Share with me. Solange, HIV positive. Jay! I'm finished. Jay! Somebody wake me up from this dream. I'm finished. Somebody wake me up from this dream. I'm finished. Linda also complained about something like that. Linda is HIV positive. I know you think I'm joking. Don't, 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 don't get me. So why should I be joking with my own sister's life? Hey! 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 Wait, do you mean to say I'm HIV positive? <laughs> I'm going to say your own sister Linda is HIV positive too. Stop, oh, Monnam. Hey! The doctor confirmed that Linda is HIV positive. Monnam. Really? is talking. My partner in crime. As if you're better than I am. Uh, Look at you, you cheap slut. Did you really have to give my, my brother HIV, did you? <laughs> what do you gain for scanning an innocent soul like my brother? Hmm? What is your benefit? It's, that stupid question should go to your useless brother. <laughs> uh -huh. Who doesn't know that nowadays you don't go in for sex without protection? I mean, a condom is just a hundred francs. Besides, there are some hospitals they even share it for free. Oh, uh -huh. my friend, mm -hmm. did I just hear you say they share it for free uh -huh. and 100 francs? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yet you have the HIV. How manage? How manage? <laughs> you know what? I don't blame you. I blame your entire family for being so stupid, so uneducated. You're so annoying. Yeah, none of you have ever seen the four. Take a good look at my four fingers. None of your family members have ever seen the four walls of a one. What? <laughs> You came. Wow, wow, I'm wow. from the California. Hey, yeah, I'm coming from California. New California, 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 California. Wow, bro, I'm so cool. California. Say California. Come on, come on, come on. That's my man. That's my man. You're a big genius. I don't see that. Yeah, that's a big, big news. I see. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I knew very well I was going to meet you. What? what? You're so annoying! What you you talking? remember when you were here. HIV infected and you went to that cell and you saved me? What are you yes. talking about? I'm not going to pretend like you don't know! What's going on here? Oh, hold on, hold on. What's your what, 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 what,
Do you know her? But she kind of say you're embarrassing me here. You're embarrassing me. What's this? You, oh my How God. am I embarrassing you? Ladies, ladies. What's she talking about? Oh, oh, hold on. What's she trying to say? What's the meaning of this? Better come down. Let's What's the meaning of this? So you, do, do you know her? You're talking to a celebrity. Let, let you're talking to a celebrity. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a enough, celebrity. Hey, I'm from California. I need to fuck. Speak to Jay Z anytime I want. Oh, oh yeah. my God! Where I come from? I What's speak. this? I speak to Jay Z anytime I want. What's the meaning of this? What? Nick, what the fuck is this? What's this? What's up? What's up? We've been giving our HIV something new. That's no something new, man. So what if I'm so trying to put? So it means nothing to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just so annoying. Is it what you do? Do, do, do you know her? You're talking to a celebrity. Let, let you know. You're talking to a celebrity. Hey, hey, I'm a enough, celebrity. Enough. I'm from California. I speak to Jay Z anytime I want. Hey. Get yeah, yourself done. Yeah. I'm not. Where you're hiding. You're a monster. What she talking about? Shut up, Nick. Nick Shut up, Nick. You knew you were having it. You slept with my girlfriend. What are you talking about? You are a devil in disguise. Listen hey. up, Nick. You don't talk to a celebrity like that. Over there, I'm a star. You're I'm a star, yeah. No, it's here. Listen up. Listen up. You better mind your tongue. Mind your language. Mind the way you talk to a star, man. You're talking to a celebrity right here. It's that your celebrity. I'm from California. I keep saying that I'm from California. Get it? Okay, whether you're from California or what? Listen up. Your girlfriend saw me. She fell in love with my swag, my outlook. And she loved my cookie cookie. So I had to give it to her front and back. You get it? Nick, I gave it to her front to back. Nick. Listen. Let me touch me, okay? You can tell. They don't touch me. You tell they don't touch me. If I knew you were HIV positive, I wouldn't have slept with that chick. Like seriously. What? Slept with my chick? What's this nigga talking about? You, mean, you slept with my girl? But you the same. Hey man. You're a fool. You're a bloody bastard, okay? Don't touch you me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'll deal with you. You don't touch me. I'm a G, I'm a nigga. Where I come from, we don't fight. Fight, but you got in. You're a broke ass nigga. Can't only make noise, make noise. You're a duck. You're a devil, Nick. You're a duck. Nigga with it. I'm staying today because of you. You surely hear from me, Nick. You don't hear from my lawyer, man. Broke ass. You're a duck. You're a duck. Damn. Let us start with a word of prayer, inviting the Holy Spirit to come to our midst. You know, He's the divine protector. 
so he was asking to come to him. That's what I missed. Father God, I want to thank you for this special day. I want to thank you for the children that have come to see your face. Father, we pray that as we about to start with our discussions, Father, you be with us, you will guide us, and you be amongst us. Guide those who are still behind our God, so that at the end of the day, our miracle system keeps you going. We pray this through the matter in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Actually, we came to find out what actually is the possibility of being alive with HIV and AIDS. I mean, is there really any possibility? Yes, there is hope. There is a possibility of living with HIV and AIDS if and only if you can follow the doctor's prescription, the medications, and above all, if you can trust. Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says that um, there is nothing that God cannot do. God can do everything. And that is why every sickness is under the feet of the Lord. And God can do it and heal you from God. That HIV is not an exception. So, but by the way, why, why are you asking all these questions? Does one, anyone amongst you have HIV AIDS? Mm. Not really, Pastor. No, it's just a family, just a family member. Okay, okay. No problem. But just tell him that there is hope. Okay, um, but Pastor, does it mean the statement we commonly hear out there that HIV and AIDS is a deadly disease? Does it mean that statement is actually fake or a lie? Actually, my brother, it is a very big lie in the eyes of the Lord Jesus Christ. But to uh, to man, it is it's, it's really deadly, but to God, it is not deadly. You know, the Bible says that God is above everything and God can do anything. So you don't need to be afraid when you have HIV AIDS. Take your medications, follow what the doctor says, and trust in God. Believe that God can heal you because that is the greatest thing that you can do. When you believe and acknowledge that God can help you, I want to believe you will be healed from all that. There are so many people living outside there without HIV because they trusted in the Lord and God healed them from that. Um, Pastor, I, I try to say that if uh, someone should give his or her life to Christ uh, and the person is suffering from AIDS, there's a possibility that the person will be free. Yes, if you give your life to Christ, follow what God says in His Word, I want to tell you, you will be healed. But before that, you need to understand that God answers prayers in three ways. He can say no, He can say yes, and He can say wait. So these are the three things, three ways that God answers prayers. So you really need to, when you're praying, you need to know that. Oh, we want to give our lives to Christ. Oh, you give your life to Christ. Do you believe that Jesus Christ came to this world to save you and you from your sins? Yes, I do. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Yes. Do you believe that He came? as a bridge between mankind and God. Before we pray to give your life to Christ, let me just put some uh, verse in the Bible. Okay. 
um, the book of John, if you open to the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, it says, I read, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believed in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That is what the Bible says. Whoever believes in Christ will have everlasting life. So I'm very happy that today you are taking a decision of you know following Christ, knowing Christ. And the only thing that you need to do is not just believing and accepting Christ, but you know, following him day after day. Studying his word, believing him, and knowing that he is the way, the truth, and the life. So can we pray? Okay, I will plead on you to repeat this after me. Father Lord, Father Lord, I know I have sinned against you. I know I have sinned against you. And Father, I have come before your throne of glory with my sins. Father, I have come before your throne of glory. Father, I have come to tell you that I would love to follow your ways. Father, I have come to tell you that I would love to follow your ways. Father, accept me into your throne and give me the spirit to follow you. Be with me, Father. Be with me, Father. For I pray this through the mighty name of Jesus. For I pray this through the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we want to thank you. Father, I want to pray and honor you for this special moment. A moment that you have given for your uh, for, for given for your children or for your two children to uh, Ask on or to turn and face your children of glory. Father, I thank you. And Father, I commit their lives into you, your hands. That Father, you bless them and keep them safe as they live here and go out. Father, you will be with them and they will go with you and will continue to be with you. Father, thank you for praying the street, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.